Hi there, I'm Jamie Taylor. Welcome to Your Health Matters, brought to you by Kingman Regional Medical Center, your community-owned hospital. As you know, every week I have a different guest on my show, and we talk about services or programs we have available here at KRMC. I've got an exciting guest on the program today, so stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Your Health Matters. My guest today is Hannah Shepard. She is a new employee here at KRMC and a PT, DPT, mm -hmm. is that right? Yes, I got that right. correct. All right. Okay, yes. but what does that mean? So PT stands for physical therapist. Okay. And DPT just means I got my doctorate oh, so in physical doctorate therapy. Oh, doctorate. Wouldn't it just yes. be easier to say DPT? I know, right? That's why I say DPT <laughs> instead of doctor of physical therapy. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, thank you for being on the show today, Dana. Well, thank you so er, much. I called you Dana. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> and welcome back to to Kingman. Or well, thank welcome you. back. I'm. I came once to oh, my you? interview. That's and probably where I was thinking. And then welcome now back. I'll come you back again. Told me permanently as a permanent. PT Very here. good. So you're from Tennessee originally. I am. I am. And have you? So you're born and raised in Tennessee? Born and raised in Tennessee. I'm and sure everybody, almost every single patient has asked me, where are you from? Because you're not from here. You catch on my southern accent. Right, once you so, start yeah. talking, it kind of gives that away. <laughs> of course, Kingman is a good conglomerate of people from all this over the country. True. I have so. noticed that. It's a small world. But yeah, yeah, I'm from the northeastern portion of Tennessee. Okay. Um, I went to school in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay, so University you did school there too. Mm -hmm. So is this your I first did. time kind of away from home? Yes, when I came to interview here, here was the very first time I'd ever been past Arkansas. Oh my! First God. west I'd ever been. Really? Until this past January, yes. So wow. So you've got very some big changes. Change of pace, but awesome. I like it a lot. Well, that's I was looking good. for something more warm and uh, dry. Okay. So well, you got, got that. Both I mean, of those here, right? So. I mean, we you know do have our little bit of cold spells, but uh -huh. it's like I tell people, it's my idea of a perfect winter because you can drive yeah. up in the Wallapies and play in the snow and then drive back out and be out of the snow. Exactly. You know, that's a good thing. And we have our cold snaps, but they don't last a very long time. I don't know, yeah. does Tennessee have long winters? Oh yeah, it gets cold and it's yeah. dreary. At least when it's cold here, it's nice and sunshiny. That's so. true, that's, that's true. A good we thing. have that, I know. I'm from Minnesota originally. Oh, Same kind of thing. They have, so you, know, you know all about the cold weather. Oh yeah, <laughs> and our winters are like, you know, two to three months versus six to eight months in Minnesota, yeah. so yeah. It's much better here. <laughs> Definitely. Well, so and far, it's I'm very much enjoying I'm glad. Very yeah, you made it through it. the first summer because you came mm -hmm. in June. Yeah, I came like right when that big hot spell came. Okay, so, so you kind of saw the worst and it really wasn't yes. too bad. I mean, it's no, it wasn't short, too bad. So. It wasn't too bad. And then I experienced the monsoons and I was like, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we kind of get all our rain at once. Definitely. Versus in Tennessee, it's kind of spread all the time, out right? and very long, long, Yeah, long we get a whole big sploosh <laughs> and then we're done <laughs> literally i had to pull over to the side of the road because i was going to go work out and all of a sudden i was like oh, my car's going to float away oh i know I so you're coming over. over like bank street or one um well over from wallapai mountain road oh yeah so just one of the fitness sure. centers here so yeah I, there was one day during this past monsoon i know i was coming in it was the same kind of thing uh -huh. i come I came down route 66 in the town and I had to pull over too because it was just this wall. Yeah. I was like, I think I'm going to just wait here for a little bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been in some pass. pretty heavy rains before, but that yeah. was probably the most extreme, yeah. the quickest. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's it fast. Like, it's we a do all that. It's flash really fast. Flood. Yeah. So, but it was cool. And I, I snow is like that too. It melts really quick. You know, I had a friend who moved here from the East Coast, and uh -huh. she called me one day in a panic because it was she'd heard you know we're getting a blizzard, and she, oh. goes, Jamie, <laughs> I left all my shovels back east. What am I going to do? I'm like, like five whole snowflakes. Yeah, I said, oh well, actually, we did get a little snow that time, but I just told her put a pot of coffee on, darling. It'll be gone by the time It'll you be finish. Fun. <laughs> so anyway, no. so I think you'll enjoy Kingman, and yes. I know our patients are lucky to have you here to have oh, a doctorate well, in physical you. therapy you. and you're going to be specialized well you're already seeing patients now yes. as a, a physical therapist but mm -hmm. you have a specialty so i'll what be getting it? my specialty in is considered pelvic floor normally that is um taken more as women's health it mm -hmm. is conclusive of male and it's, female okay, pelvic so. floor health because everybody has a pelvic floor sure so everything between the hips and lower okay um 
So I'll be getting that in about the middle of January. So okay. I'll be able to start seeing patients well, about February. Early February, um, okay. For all sorts of different, any sort of, a lot of times it's inconclusive of just like pelvic pain in general. Okay, because that's what I was going to ask you. What yes. kind of issues do people have right. with their pelvis? So <laughs> predominantly um, incontinence, whether oh. it's bladder or bowel loss of incontinence, okay. problems with that. So. Um, or whether it's urging continence, you just can't get to the bathroom quite on uh, time. Yeah. A lot of times those are just because the muscles down there just aren't controlling how everything is supposed to be going. Yeah, so it's that um, like, you teach them like Kegel exercises? Yes, and what happens a lot of times, people are like, oh, I know Kegels, doctor yeah. told me how to do Kegels. Yeah. They're like, I do those all the time, but I'm still having these problems. The biggest problem is that people aren't doing them the properly. Right. Yeah. Yes, so we have some special equipment Oh. that can teach through biofeedback, that teaches your body through visuals. You can actually see when you contract your muscles, oh, that's how cool. well you're contracting it. Um, and we, we train the different types of muscles. So you have the power and strength to control those urges, but also the endurance aspect to of the strength as well to hold it longer. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, so we train See, every time I do this show, I learn something Yeah, new. exactly. <laughs> now, it's not just the incontinence, okay. though. It's also any sort of like pain, like if you have pain with sexual intercourse oh, or pain okay. after um, childbirth. A lot of mm -hmm. females have issues after like a episiotomy. Right. Um, Another word is uh, dyspyrenia, the pain with sexual intercourse. Okay. Um, so it's even some young girls have a lot of problems with that. Just mm. like when they're starting to first um, go be sexually through, active, be sexually and... active, or even just like the use of tampons and things. Oh, some okay. girls are very, very, very tight, and you yeah. have to help those muscles to relax. Oh, it's so also both ways. You teach muscles yes, to be stronger or you teach them to, to relax. relax. Exactly. People have both problems. Yeah. And they're, they're muscles just like anything else. So sure. you train. You boys want to work out their biceps. Yeah. <laughs> so you train those to get stronger uh -huh. or they sometimes they can get stuck all too sure. strong. Okay. So you got to train them to relax. So they're muscles just like anything else in your body. So we have to work them out yeah. or stretch them. Yeah. Just like any of the other muscles. So it's something and it's also something that most girls tend to be hushy hushy oh, about because sure. it's says, embarrassing yeah. it's like oh i hurt that's down I there just gonna say it. i shouldn't talk about that right. or maybe I don't that's want mom just, to know yeah <laughs> don't tell mom or um a lot of females come and they haven't told their doctors certain mm. things because yeah. it was a male doctor and they sure. just didn't feel comfortable to be yeah. like i'm having like vaginal pain yeah so as a female, a lot of times they, they feel talk to you much easier. more comfortable. They're sure. like, I want to let you know this. So it's like, okay, well, that tells me a whole new set of things that we can work on. So get we better. have to get the word out to the female population. Yes. Well, I mean, I know you said you work with men too, but yes. I think females have a tendency to be a little bit more private. Yes. Like you said, not necessarily discuss those things with their doctor. Definitely, definitely. I see a future speaker at Seroptimist. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> I know. It's a women's group. They're international, okay. actually. Yes. But um, we have a very strong Sir Optimist group okay. in Kingman that meets once a week. And I'm sh they're always looking for guest speakers oh, okay. that are relevant yeah. to women's issues. So Definitely. I am sure they'd love to That's have That's another thing. Um, a lot of females who have suffered abuse mm -hmm. have a lot of pelvic pain and specifically uh, the pelvic floor pain okay so that's another area that yeah, we can so probably get work you over on. the cap and work with the uh, kingman area um, mm -hmm. aid to abuse people definitely they have a shelter there for women okay. so yeah uh, i see lots of opportunities we're going to get yes. you busy girlfriend okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely, awesome definitely so now so, are you starting to see patients already? I actually have already started seeing a couple um, specifically public floor patients. Okay. Um, a How lot do of they females, hear about you though? Because I The doctors send okay. them to me. So you're um, starting to let the doctors yes. know. So okay. I'm already certified to do it as a physical therapist. Mm -hmm. We are taught so within our scope of practice because they're muscles like everything yeah. else. Okay. But um, some of the special tools and stuff, it's better to have a little more training in those. Okay. So that's why I'm going to go get extra training, get the certification. Okay. So. so that's why you're saying in February you'll be full-fledged. Yes, and we'll actually purchase the tools okay. that will help me 
to expand my abilities right. and capabilities. And you'll probably help. be over in the new op, um, new building yes, by we'll then, too. we'll be out in the new building over yeah. on Sycamore. Right, because so. in fact, we'll probably need to talk about that soon because they're moving in end of December, I think. Yes, we'll be moving December 13th. Oh, okay. So by the time this so. show airs, you'll have moved. Yes. So you're going to be over so. in Sycamore. Yes. I don't know the exact yeah, address. Like people 40. know it as the old surgery center. Okay. You'll find right. in Kingman that we refer a lot to the old whatever building. Yes, and I've already like, noticed yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I remember when we first moved here, it's almost 12 years ago now, and it'd be, what? Where? What? I don't, yes. there's no old J.C. Penny building that, I, or, and then the classic <laughs> is the old and the new Safeway. Yes, I know. And that I'm was like, when I was getting ready to say, everybody old? keeps talking about the old Safeway. <laughs> I'm like, it how old pretty is new it? to me. Oh, it's newer. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, yeah, you'll learn that the direction-wise. But anyway, yes. so the old doctor's surgery center is now going to be the yes. therapy. Yes, we'll still be having the aquatic center here okay. and the wellness center. Uh -huh. But then the outpatient physical therapy will be over in the, in the old surgery building. center. And that will be good it. because that's then you're going to be with Melanie Bradle yes. and um, Katie Brown. The yes. whole speech so we'll have and hearing all, all occupational together. speech awesome. and physical all under therapy one roof. all together. Awesome. And it's a great bunch of folks, too, that you're working yes. with. Oh, so. I'm definitely definitely enjoying everybody I'm working with. That's great. That's so. great. And, and, of course, Melanie's from... Ohio, Kentucky uh -huh. area, so I'm sure you guys have already <laughs> yes. compared notes. Yes, That's yes, awesome. yes. She's very, very nice. Like, yeah, very, very good. Nice. So, so um, you said you've gotten a few patients already, so uh -huh. you've been out talking to the doctors to let them know that you're available? Yes, one of my patients specifically was sent to me for the biofeedback mm -hmm. and the electrical stimulation and those type of things, uh -huh. that we don't have those machines yet that we will be getting in okay. February. Good. So I just wrote a note to the doctor and let him know, discussed it with the patient, uh -huh. and the patient decided, you know, maybe it would be better to wait until we have time. Sure. Got so, the whole thing up and ready. Yes. That's good. So I wrote the doctor a note and let him know why we're waiting for yeah. a little while. Okay. Good. Um, so as far as I know, he but was okay with But that's awesome us. that you're going to be able to offer assistance for those kind yes, of Yes, because issues. the closest other place for the special certification yeah. is in Las Vegas. Wow. So um, kind of a so there's trek. Nothing. Yeah. Trek and a half. Yeah. So for sure. definitely something a little closer, even for Laughlin and Bullhead. This will be the closest place wow, that's for them awesome. to come. And how often now, like if I have those kind of issues, how often would you see someone? Typically, it's just once, maybe twice oh, a okay. week for, depends on how severe the impairment well, is. kind of like working so, with a personal trainer. Kind of is. It's a personal <laughs> trainer for your public floor. We also do a lot of core training. Okay. And um, another thing that, you know, females will have like a surgery, even if it's mm. not a female related surgery, mm -hmm. just any sort of abdominal surgery okay. yeah. um, can cause pelvic pain. Sure. So I do a lot of like soft tissue work on the scars. Okay. Because with a lot of the it. scars, you'll just have like a little smiley face scar, but what you don't know is when you go watch the surgery, Behind. they pull all the way up half the time. Yeah. So you have a lot of scarring and it just causes all those muscles to be very, very angry. Sure, yeah. So we calm them down and try to make them happy again. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. You're awesome, Hannah. I just love how you put everything down oh, into the... I try to. I, I need to understand <laughs> things on my level, so yeah. I want to make sure my patients understand things that's on their great. level as well. Well, they're blessed so. to have you here. That's going to be I hope awesome. So. That's I really so. exciting. I hope so. So for men, I, don't mm -hmm. know, I mean, I'm sure that's a little bit more tricky sometimes to have male patients. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, because okay. a lot of times men, they're like, oh, man, I'm tired of this problem. <laughs> if it's bad enough, they want to go take get, get taken care fixed. of. Yeah. They're like, I'm going to do this, and we're going to get it done, <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes it's a good thing. Yeah, okay. Like, okay, let's fix this, so get you out of here. The same kind of concept with using Same them? kind of concept. Okay. Well, we're going to take same. a quick break, okay. and then we'll come back after the, the messages and talk more. All right, so excellent. stay tuned. We'll be back right after these messages. Welcome back to Your Health Matters. My guest today is Hannah Shepard. Thanks again for being on the show, Hannah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and so you're a doctor of physical therapy. Yes, I'm I am. Impressed. So does that mean eight years you went to school? It was actually seven years seven, of school. Seven, that's still, mm -hmm. that's a lot of school. It is a lot of school. <laughs> <laughs> and all of that was in Tennessee. We took, talked about that before the yes, break. Yes, it was. And that's your first time west of the Mississippi since you uh -huh. came here. That's awesome. 
<laughs> I'm really glad you decided to make that big move. I'm glad I did too. too. Okay, so good. far I have not regretted it. So. Good. Okay. Well, we'll try to make sure you continue on that same vein. You were sharing just before the break. We we talked in the first segment about all the work you do with women and their mm -hmm. pelvic floor issues, but men have those issues too. Correct. So what kind of issues do you see and how do you help them? Well, I haven't seen a whole lot yet, yet just because okay. the word hasn't really gotten out. Right. And, and men are a little bit... Yes, mm -hmm. men tend to be a little more <laughs> like, eh, I'll just ignore this yeah, problem. Yeah, maybe it'll go um, away. I know they, that's how my husband is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. Um, so men also have loss of bladder control mm -hmm. as well as loss of bowel control. Mm -hmm. So even if it's just a little bit or a lot, men can still have the urging continence yeah. where they're like, oh, I've got to go to the bathroom. I've got to go to the bathroom now, now, now. They didn't make it and lose uh, it. Yeah. And uh, so typically you just start wearing the pins yeah, or pads, just, yeah. which is very embarrassing sure. and don't want to talk about it. But a lot of those problems can be fixed just like in females. So I think that's probably a really important thing that our audience needs to know. Is right. And especially, like anything, if you catch it early, it's mm -hmm. better, right? Definitely. Definitely. So as definitely. soon as you start having those kind of issues or feelings, mm -hmm. they need to get in. Now, we didn't talk about but I'm imagining someone needs a referral to come to see you. Yes. So they have to go to their... Um, in the state of Arizona, we mm -hmm. have direct access, so somebody can come without even having a referral. Oh. But it is much better to have a referral okay. from the physician, just due to insurance yeah, just and say, payment. Yeah, and you want to make sure that um, you're being sent for the correct thing. If it's a if it's another issue mm -hmm. like something neurological going on or um, just a different type of impairment that's not within my scope of practice. Sure. Okay. I feel most comfortable if typically a doctor sees the patient first. first. That makes just sense. Just to kind of clear things out. Yeah. And we have a medical team to make sure we're covering as every aspect as we possibly right. can Very for good. the best patient care. So. Absolutely. So, so that it is better if they have that referral. Yes. And then that means they've seen their doctor first and kind of covered all those other yes. pieces, and then come and see you. So definitely you do biofeedback so you kind of hook them uh -huh. up. So we have a stimulator. Okay. You can either put it vaginally oh. or anally. Okay. Or rectally. Yeah. Um, so and it's just a little probe and the patient puts it in themselves. Okay. I leave the room. <laughs> okay. So they, they can do that all yeah. by themselves. Um, and there's just little wires and strings that come out of the britches. Okay. Your pants. Just <laughs> out here. Um, and then the little machine will show you um, if you're contracting those muscles properly. Oh. And it shows you like a little um, wave to okay. tell you how strong you're contracting them or how much you are relaxing them. Hmm. So, um, as we said, you can have a problem with having too tight right. or too loose. So, so you, you got to be able to contract and relax. So you teach them like, um, no. Yeah. <laughs> and you relax. Just like this. <laughs> no. But a lot of times people think they're relaxing. Yeah. And then all of a sudden when they see that, you're like, oh, I'm not actually relaxed. So we and do we relax some breathing. Relax from here up and not from here Exactly. <laughs> we do some breathing okay. um, to relax. And I'll put them in different positions, which will okay. help you to relax better. If you're typically more relaxed if you're laying down on your back mm -hmm. versus if you're standing up. Sure. So um, we'll do different stuff like that. Well, and I would guess that, like you said, having that chart that shows mm -hmm. then, so then, okay, that's when I'm relaxed. That's right. what this feels that's like. That's what it feels like, yes. And that, that's the, the beauty of the biofeedback okay. is your body isn't always aware of what it is doing. Mm -hmm. So um, that machine shows you. Awesome. That's yeah. very cool. So, and then if the person can't contract the muscles at all, just like we use, if anybody's had therapy before, we put the electrical stimulation yes, on yeah. different muscles. Um, um, we can do the electrical stimulation on the pelvic floor muscles. Okay. So to make your body aware that those muscles are there to be able to utilize them properly. Excellent. So, and then yeah. you give them exercises to practice at home? Yes, okay. definitely, definitely. It's always a good Homework. physical therapy <laughs> program has right. home exercises because yeah. we want to make the person independent and be able to take care of the problem at home. Sure. We're just there to facilitate 
getting the right tools so they can be independent and get back to their daily activities. Excellent. So. I like the sound of that. Now, we also talked during the break about pregnancy issues. Yes. So what kind of issues um, would well, that be? Well, a lot of females have a lot of back pain, yeah. a lot of pubic pain. Depending on how they're carrying the baby. Yes, especially as things go yeah, further, further along in the pregnancy. Yeah. During the pregnancy, hormones are changing, ligaments yeah. get lax or loose. So we can do um, exercises that are safe during pregnancy. I was just going to say that. Pre or postnatally. Okay. So after you have the baby, the, everything's trying to get back in place. Yes, right. And they're like, ah! <laughs> I used to be over here. <laughs> exactly. And the moms are carrying their little babies, and they tend to have incontinence issues. And a lot of times people are like, oh, I just had a baby. I'm supposed to, you know, yeah. wet myself a little yeah. bit. It's common, but very it common, but it's to. not normal. It is not normal. You should never do anything you like that. You have to have that Exactly. Problem. So even for a young mom or an older mother mm -hmm. or just person in general, yeah. anybody who goes to the bathroom, which is all of us, yeah. <laughs> um, or just the pain. It doesn't necessarily have to be an incontinence issue. Okay. Just the pain all down that region, just from anything that's been stretched or any surgery, any intradominal. Right, we were talking about that earlier even, in the even show. Even hip surgeries can cause um, some of the pelvic pain mm -hmm. that we can work on some of those muscles. Well, I suppose, you think, like you were talking about mm -hmm. earlier, that when you have those surgeries and they're stretching and right. reattaching things, and so, yeah, they're probably all going, Hello. Poking and prodding <laughs> in every little place possible. You're like, I didn't know I had that muscle. Oh, well, I know. That's so <laughs> true, too. Yeah, well, that's pretty interesting. I had no idea, Hannah. Like I said, uh -huh. I always learn something new every time I do this well, show. I'm still learning as well. Right. So. Okay. So, um, but... It, can people just see you as a regular physical therapist, yes. too? I yes. I mean, obviously, this is going to be your specialty. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I'm already seeing all sorts of orthopedic patients, knee replacements, hip replacements, back pain, shoulder pain, okay. hand pain, finger pain, okay. um, surgeries, car accidents, um, just a, a myriad of different Helping to get people diagnoses. back to... Yeah. So, anything yeah. that is a movement-related problem... You or help. you can't do your regular activities of yeah. daily living because you're hurting due to movement. Mm -hmm. You think that's muscle. But you're doing outpatient, right? Yes. Not inpatient. I'm doing outpatient, but on the weekends I've been doing some inpatient oh, wow. and over at the acute rehab center. Okay. So, so they got me got you all rotating over. all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get to know us all. Yeah. Very good. Very so, good. Yeah. So, um, I, was, oh, I just thought of something I was going to ask you. With okay. the other therapists, um, do you take turns then with, like, are you, are you doing any of the water therapy too? Um, we have a specific therapist who does mm -hmm. the aquatic or okay. water therapy. Yeah. Um, I am trained as a physical therapist. I'm still within our scope of practice, so okay. I have had a patient in the pool where I let them through everything. Sure. Um, but the specific aquatic therapist, she's had some special classes and... Um, Those are focused. But... Yeah, so that's her focus. Okay. And it's easier for her to be in the pool all day. Instead true. of me getting in and out once yes, or twice. Yes, that's true. That's true. Yes, she so can be water. She does a great, great job. Yeah, with I think that. Jill's been on the program before. We okay. talked about that. Yes. But um, so there are folks though that obviously the water works well uh -huh. for them. To, you know, definitely not impact and things like uh -huh. that. But then do they? transfer back to you typically we transfer back to the land the therapy land thing. yes yeah, you because can't we don't spend your whole life in the pool exactly we don't <laughs> live in water so um we try to start bringing it back onto land okay. towards the end of their session and then we also have balance um a balance center oh the balance and dizziness balance center. center yes so yeah we so, have a, quite a broad range here definitely today. definitely it, now when when you were in tennessee did you mm -hmm. work there or was, I know you went to school there, but... Then right. No, I had just graduated. Oh, okay. So this was my first job. I've been awesome. here for a little bit. Awesome. So, fresh off the press. <laughs> <laughs> but we good. had about a year and a half of clinicals, and oh, I sure. was uh, yeah. like a physical therapy technician for four years in undergrad. So, been and I've been a physical therapy patient multiple times myself. Oh, so. yep. Yeah, that's <laughs> some, of the, some of the best I, ways we learn, huh? I can empathize, <laughs> definitely. Excellent, excellent. Well, <laughs> Hannah, thank you again for being on the show today. Thank you I for having me. I think our viewers me. have learned a lot today, too. And I bet you'll have more patience because of this. So, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us today. We'll have another great guest in the program next week. 
We'll look forward to you joining us then.